and welcome to today's session. Today we're going to discuss Canvas as a student and how you can get your badge. And everyone wants to get a badge. I'm in a moderator professional development course and uh, everyone wants a badge, right? So this is how I got my badge as a student. First thing I did was go to the activities. So let me show you how that's done. The name of the course is EVO 2023. It's a moderator professional development. All right, so these are the activities over here on the left menu. You can see them listed. They're also in blue, which means they are clickable, just like on Moodle, but this is Canvas. Next, uh, let me take you to my account and the progress earned. Notice I've got two out of five badges. The first one is the introduction. Now, how do I get to receive these? What did I do to earn them? Well, we're going to go into the modules. Let's do that now by clicking on modules. Now, notice right now there's the registration week and the date, of course, is there. You can see it over here. So we've got registration week and the requirement is to complete all items. And notice I have completed them and I've got everything ticked off, which means that I did what I had to do. And um, notice there's the pre moderator professional development tasks and it needs to be viewed. Now notice all the viewed. That is where the problem may be. Contributed is not a problem because you simply reply, respond to the question, you introduce yourself and then you reply to others and that's fine. The problem is the view. What do you do with the view? And that's what I'm going to show you. What to do with the view. You go into the first one which says view. You click on it and you need to read it. Just like Moodle, Canvas has a tracking system, which means that it knows that you're here. It knows that you're going through it. It doesn't know that, um, you know, you're comprehending everything that you're reading, but it does know that you're on the page. But you should be reading it. That's the whole point of this. It's a learning experience and you should make the most of it. All right, next you click on next. Notice at the very bottom, you'll find next. So you just go on to the next task, click on it, and then you have, notice there are no points for this. You simply need to go through it. When I say no points, I mean it's not graded with a number. Some have grades, but not in this particular course. So notice here, we've got a list of all the proposals, and then we get another next. And the next means that you're going to view it, whether you like it or not. Your eyes are going to go through it, and I hope you get gain something from it. Now, these are the bios of the coordination team. Again, it's view, which means that you need to view it. And viewing it means going right through it to the very bottom. And you should really read about these amazing coordinators who are volunteering their time to provide free professional developments. Next, you're going to go to next. That's right, right here on the next and see what's, notice this is the registration week. We've started week one, but this is what you had to do before. I'm on Chrome, even though I'm using a Mac. I suggest you don't use Safari if you're on a Mac, but use Chrome instead. Notice here you can subscribe. I have subscribed. I'm going to undo that because actually I've got the badge, but you still might want to do it just to read what everyone has written. This is a contribution, which means you need to reply. So hit the reply button and add as much information as you can. You want to practice doing this so that you become proficient, not only as a moderator, as a teacher, but also as a student so that you realize what your students go through. And this is really, really important. And then once you um, add your input, you can go on to the next one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the modules. Notice it moved down to discussions and uh, see what else is here. So I've got the coordinating team. 
where everyone introduced themselves. Now I'm going to go into, and I've introduced myself. I looked at the team. I looked at the proposals. I looked at the pre, and then I have all these ticks, as I said before. And these ticks mean that these are all complete. And notice at the top here, there is a, now I know some of this is really obvious, but you know, we don't see things when we don't expect them and we don't know what to look for. So it's always a good idea to, uh, to watch video tutorials and to also provide them for your students. Right. So let's take a look at what you'll see at the top here. You'll see complete all items and then you'll see a tick next to that which means you've done it all and then you can go on to the next module if you scroll down you'll go into week one and notice uh, you need to go through the registration before you can go on with this and again notice the view when you get the view you have to view it you don't just ignore it and go on to the rest you go through the views notice there's only one view and i viewed it otherwise it would say view it says view isn't that amazing? And then some of these you mark as done. And notice mine have already been marked as done. And I've already contributed to the two discussions. Oh, there's one more view. Sorry about that. So I already uh, contributed. I responded and replied to others to the two discussion forms. And then there's a view here, view it. And then the support is also view. So you have to go through the support, whether you want to add a support or not. And that's how Canvas works. Once you go through the process, you will be awarded a badge, just as I have. So looking forward uh, to seeing your badges, because we get a list, the moderators of this particular Canvas course, get a chance to see who got their badges. You also get an email from Badger, that's the system that uses uh, Canvas, and you'll be told that notified that you got a badge. And I think that's really exciting. And then you'll be able to go to the page and see your badges. However, if you're curious, you can go into the badges right here. Also note that you have Canva here for education if you're interested in that. And this is the student's view. I'm in as a student go into badges and then I can see my badges. Here they come. ND. Okay, that's because I didn't, I probably didn't add an image there. And notice offered by Evo 23 Mod PD. And uh, when it ends, but that's not true, it ends before that. But you get a chance to still come back here even once this um, course is over. And notice I have two badges. I earned two badges and I worked hard for these. And so are you working hard. So you want to make sure that you get your badges. Notice I don't have a badge for week two. It's completely empty right now, but the requirements are there so I can take a look. Notice I need to complete everything for weeks two, three, and four, because right now I have not earned any of those badges. And it'll say not earned, not earned not earned. So I've got three more to go before I get my final certificate. If you have any questions, feel free to add your comments and ask your questions in the comment box below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.